Good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Yetzi. Here's a look at your top stories on this Tuesday. A fire breaking out in a residential neighborhood in Southwest Ranches last night. This home caught fire near Sterling Road in Southwest 136th Avenue. Authorities say it is an unoccupied dwelling and may have been a residential unit that was being built. No one was on the site and no injuries were reported. He grabbed you. And what do you do? I beat him. A brave little girl fighting off a man who allegedly tried to kidnap her. Police say cameras caught 32 year old Leonardo Venegas entering an apartment complex. The suspect allegedly grabbed that six year old, started to carry her away. Police say that's when the girl bit him so hard it caused the suspect to drop her. Venegas told investigators he was looking for a house to buy, even though there are no for sale signs in that complex. He was charged with kidnapping and child abuse. And police making an arrest after they say a man was seen peeping through someone's window in Weston and touching himself. Marcos Bravo is accused of sneaking into a resident's closed patio on June 26th. The person inside the home caught that suspect looking in before he ran away. Bravo is now charged with burglary and voyeurism. And a man is behind bars after being accused of drowning the family dog in Pembroke Pines. Police say 25 year old Corey Dacres got into an argument with family members before taking the six year old pit bull to the community pool at their apartment complex. They say he went into the water with the dog and drowned her. He is charged with felony animal cruelty and is being held on $35,000 bond. As breaking news happens, we'll keep you covered on air and online. Head to local10.com throughout the day for more local news coverage and updates.